Hi friends, welcome back to Cooking with Didi. We're gonna start off with two of these roastier chickens from Kroger's. That's my shortcut way. It saves you about 30, 40 minutes. You wanna get some either frozen vegetable season blend or dice up your own. Put two tablespoons of butter in a skillet and let's saute those. I season these vegetables just a little bit and you'll see me add seasoning throughout this video. I'm actually um, in a hurry this day trying to make a meal for my oldest son's uh, house. He asked me to cook dinner for him and he's moved away so that's why you guys haven't seen me in a minute. Anyway, I'm using a full container of Kroger's chicken broth low sodium. You want to pour that into a bowl or as you can see I'm using my jumbo uh, measuring cup and then you want one can of cream of mushroom soup and of course you could do this by scratch make your own chicken broth your own cream of mushroom soup but if you did all that it's going to take more time and it's no longer a shortcut right right <laughs> all right so um now you want to add some time and I don't measure so the exact recipe with generic measurements for the average person you can find in the description of this video so I'm using time Tony Saturia I'm sure I said that wrong again some basil leaves dry basil leaves if you want to use fresh that's fine too And you guys, I'm sure you've noticed, I love to cook with uh, Worcestershire sauce. Don't beat me up for saying it wrong. I probably said it wrong. Uh, just a pinch of sage. You don't want to overdo it. Just a little bit of sage. And one of my favorite is this Adam's Reserves All-Purpose Seasoning. And if you don't have an H-E-B, it's just coarse, um, what is that, garlic salt ground pepper and salt it's really good you want to whisk this brisk briskly <laughs> to make sure you get all the lumps of that cream of mushroom soup out all right two tablespoons of butter and as you can see i've melted it and oh my god this thing is so hot it um does not hold heat well it's, it's really hot i can hardly handle it so I'm going to pour this melted butter into my uh, mixture here. I'm going to add just a little bit of paprika and that's just so that it can have a little color to the dish. I don't know about you, but um, paprika really doesn't have a taste to me. It could be me, I don't know. All right, back to your vegetables. They're done now. I sauteed them for about five minutes. My rice, I use um, Zatarain's and I rinse my rice about three times. So I rinse it before I actually use it. That's why it looks wet. It's not cooked, I just rinsed it real well. And you want to toast your rice a little bit for maybe three minutes at the most. With your um, vegetables. All right, and I'm adding some more seasoning. I live in Texas, so I, I love a lot of seasoning in my dish. So as always, tweak my recipe for your taste buds. If I use too much seasoning, pull back. All right, next you want to pour in your soup mixture in with your rice. And save a little bit of this mixture, maybe about mm, a third of a cup. Save that. For later and, and you'll see later how I'll use that reserve all right stir this just a little bit maybe for another two or three minutes not long because you will place this in a pan and it will cook in the oven all right I have a lightly oil 9 by 13 Pyrex dish I'm going to pour my rice mixture into this Pyrex All right, I'm spreading the rice evenly throughout the pan. 
You don't want a big lump and it doesn't in one area of the pan and it doesn't cook evenly. So you want to um, spread it evenly through the pan. And those chickens, I broke them up into quarters as you can see. And I'm placing them in the rice mixture. And some, a lot of times the grocery stores don't have a lot of seasoning, but I bought the garlic herb seasoning on the roastier chicken and it's okay. And once I bake it, my seasoning in this rice dish will mesh really well. As you can see, I sprinkled just a little more Tony's. And that reserve of liquid, I'm pouring that on top so that the chicken is not overly dry when it bakes. It's going to give it some moisture on top. And those chickens were two for $10, so you can't beat that. All right, cover it. You want to seal it with foil. And I baked it on 400 for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then remove the foil. Check and make sure your rice is tender and not crunchy. If it is, put it back in there. And just so you can see, I... How I completed or complimented that chicken. I cook string beans and macaroni and cheese. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Peace.